six tournaments, two quarterfinals, three semi-finals and a final. Portugal is a nation with impressive European Championship pedigree. So when Paulo Bento's side started their qualification campaign with a shock home defeat to Albania on match day one, the team had reason to be frustrated. It wasn't the best start. It's certainly not what we wanted from the first match at home in front of our own fans. Obviously it hurt. It would any team, any national team. We felt that defeat a lot. Portugal needed a clean slate, and that's what they got. Bento was sacked, and in came veteran coach Fernando Santos, whose methods were simple. Win. <laughs> Indeed, Santos led his team to victory in all of their remaining seven fixtures to convincingly top their group and book their place in France. With each of their wins achieved by one goal margins, the matches were half fought, but team confidence had grown. When a new coach comes in, something always changes. The style of play, the way of thinking, the way he sees the ideal tactics. But Fernando Santos showed that he believed in us, that he believed we were capable of reaching the Euros. My teams in qualification stages, be it Portugal now or with Greece at Euro 2012 and the World Cup in 2014, have only suffered one defeat. In 29 qualification matches, 23 victories, 5 draws and 1 loss. So I can't say it's something I haven't been able to do before. The 61-year-old's grand plan was built around a balanced squad. Seasoned campaigners Ricardo Cavallo and Thiago were called back. While debuts were handed to UEFA Euro Under-21 finalists such as João Mario, Rafael Guerrero and Bernardo Silva. But when it comes to Portugal, there's no doubt who the star is. Captain and all-time top scorer Cristiano Ronaldo. The team will always depend on their best players. And in this case, we're speaking about the best player in the world. So there will always be some dependency. But I think that more and more, we are a team, with or without Ronaldo. We are a solid team and we concede few goals. That underlines the coach's impact, because he's quite an experienced person in the world of football. Portugal today, with Fernando Santos, are a hard-working team. A team that always knows what it has to do on the pitch. And I think we have all the ingredients to go on and play a good European Championship. Semi-finalists in 1984, 2000 and 2012, it would be no surprise to see Portugal in contention yet again. The closest they came was in 2004, when they finished as runners-up to Greece on home soil. The objective this time, as ever, will be to finally get their hands on the Omri Delaunay trophy. We've been close, but we've not been able to do it. But that is always the objective for Portugal, for the players that are coming through, for the players that we have at the moment. We need to have that objective and the dream to win the European Championship. The Selecao will face three relatively inexperienced Euro sides in France as they take on Iceland, Hungary and then Austria in Group F. Santos is yet to lose a competitive game with his country and he's daring to dream. I think that sometimes you also need a bit of luck. But luck is something you search for and conquer. It isn't something that just falls out of nowhere. It's important for us to dream that we will do it and that we will reach our objectives. And if we don't, we'll be nothing more than just dreamers. So we need to put into practice our dream, which in reality is to go to France and win the tournament.